Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. Now, prepare yourself for the most gruesome and grotesque horror film experience of them all, the Bloodorama Shock Festival. Vampires, ghouls, half-human monsters, and creatures from the world of the undead all join together in one fright-filled, fantastic cavalcade of the weird and bizarre. Don't be afraid. See the Bloodorama Shock Festival, if you dare. They live by night. They hide in the dark and rise from the shadows. They can never feel the warmth of living human blood in their veins. Their bodies are cold and dead. Dracula versus Frankenstein. serves the dead, a dead man who controls the doctor and a living creature horribly created from the mangled corpses of their victims. Dracula versus Frankenstein. His blood is cold, but his mind is keen. He cannot die, for he is already dead. His name is Dracula. Another lives, but his body belongs to the dead. The two will join forces, but only one will survive. Dracula versus Frankenstein. Oakmoor Cemetery is a cold, lifeless place to visit at night. Unless you're already dead, and your name is Dracula. Together, in one film, they meet in a fight of fright. The kings of horror battle to the death. Dracula versus Frankenstein. How many ways can you distort the human mind? One way is to remove the brain itself and control it. It's a fiendish spectacle of shocking surgery as new life is given to a man already dead, a creature created in an operation of horror. most fiendish impulses to destroy? See, brain of blood for the shocking answer. His body returned to its grave, but the brain was gone, living on in a madman's skull. In the doctor's chamber of horrors, living victim supplied the serum for his experiments. So fantastic and unbelievable that you'll have to watch every moment of brain of blood to see for yourself.
A monster with the mind of a madman seeks vengeance. His body died. His brain was saved for the most unholy experiments. The brain of a dead man lives in a creature of horror. out of your sanity too when the transfusion of terror is performed by the mad doctor of blood island all of those lives that you think have been wasted in the cause of this experiment actually have brought us closer to that lifelong dream of longevity eternal youth i will not give up the work of a lifetime simply because you think I'm mad. When we got him aboard, he was half conscious, so we tried to revive him. He turned into a raving lunatic. He killed one of my men before I finally got a bullet in him. What happened to him? He jumped overboard. It was right after sunset. We couldn't find a trace of him. But before he jumped, he bled a lot on deck. His blood was green. This is a barbaric experience in the most grotesque sense. You will see supernatural beings caught up in the rampage of gory brutality, and it will shock you and jolt you more than you would ever expect. Creatures living for synthetic green blood. They walk by night and take part in gruesome, unholy acts of savagery. <laughs> It's incredible. It's unbelievable. But you will witness scenes so frightening that your mind will not be able to accept what you see. But don't say we didn't warn you. The mad doctor of Blood Island is coming your way soon. And he's waiting for you. Why don't you pay him a visit? No appointments are necessary. But bring along your courage. You will need it. Yes, indeed. Now, from the world of the gruesome and grotesque, comes your most horrifying meeting with nerve-chilling fear. It's an unbelievably terrifying experience. But you must see all this for yourself, if you're brave enough. Horror walks the night as the half-dead creature causes savage death and destruction. One promising result of this phase of the experiment is that the pernicious side effects of chlorophyll on the body itself have been arrested. In the meantime, the body is alive, but is merely vegetating. It cannot be activated without a guiding intelligence, which cannot be provided by a mechanical device. 
On the other hand, the Ramon's head cannot as yet be safely returned to his body. So you've gone back to experimenting with human beings again? Oh, yes. Your original judgment has been thoroughly vindicated. I'm other than ever. You'll see an orgy of bloody terror as a mad fiend transplants human heads in the cave of horrors. It's more fantastic than science, more shocking than fantasy, as you see a super struggle between life and death, all to find the forbidden secrets of the weird and sinister scientists of doom. never forget the creature without a head, controlled by an insane artificial brain. When you see the most shocking screen experience of them all, Beast of Blood. Mm-hmm. <laughs>